Can you edit SVG files in DaVinci Resolve? Well, rather than can you, because the answer is yes, you can. The question should be, should you use SVG files in DaVinci Resolve? In this video, I'm going to cover a couple of things. In what circumstances should you edit an SVG file in Fusion? Two bad things of working with an SVG file in Fusion. And then the most useful tip that I can give you if you're going to work with an SVG file in Fusion. Okay, now the answer to the first question is yes, you can edit SVG files in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, and for that, I'm going to show you in a second right here. The only problem with that is that you cannot really drag and drop these. You always have to go here through Fusion, Import, and then SVG. After you find the SVG file that you want to edit, it's going to prompt up these image size and then you can just do it okay, which is basically going to be the original size that it was created on. Now we have here the SVG and that leads us to the next question. Should you or in what circumstances should you edit an SVG in Fusion? And what I would say is you should and you can if your illustration is not too complicated. That means that it doesn't have too many like elements here in this image. It doesn't have too many elements and there's not that many different colors and there's not that many drop shadows like a, like the normal drop shadow that you see here in Fusion, which sort of has different shades until it becomes invisible. This one is a pretty sharp shadow. If the illustration has a drop shadow that sort of has different shades of gray until it disappears, then that's a big no, because that will create a ton of different layers or node trees. Let me show you what I mean. This is what the SVG is going to look like when you import it into DaVinci Resolve. And this one is not that complicated because it's not that many elements and it doesn't have too many things. And I'm going to actually ungroup these so that we can see and work on things a little bit more easily. OK, and after expanding these, that brings us to the first point of the two bad things that I'm going to share with you in this video, which is everything is shown as a path, like every shape that was originally created in the illustrate in Illustrator or whatever program they used to create these will be imported as a path. So that means that you don't know where anything is unless you actually select it and then you're able to like find where everything is located. And that means that you will have to spend time actually naming things. Now in After Effects and Illustrator, there is sort of like a workflow where you can name and organize layers in Illustrator and then turn that into After Effects. I'm not sure if there's something similar for Fusion, but if there is and you know, let me know down in the comments so we can explore that a little bit further. And now the second thing here is that things are not always in order. By that, I mean that you would want to have all the elements of things that are happening inside this cup to be sort of like aligning here. I previously seen this picture, so I know one of them. This little highlight thing, for example, is not really inside or aligned with the other elements that form our cup here. For example, if we select all of these elements right here, you will see that these are all the elements that have our cup here. Up until this, up until this point, these are all our cup elements. But then this last one right here should have been part of these. So what we will have to do is actually just move everything and then find a way to actually organize. So they are all grouped in the same place. And for that, you can actually just move these holding shift and you will put it right into place. And now you can select all of these. And the good thing is that you can make these its own group, which is the actual most helpful tip that I can give you when working with SVG files is to keep things organized. So for these, when you find out all the elements that you are covering here and you have set them up all in place, all you want to do is press Ctrl G so that you can create a new group here. And then if you want to expand it, you can press Ctrl E or double click it, change the name by pressing F2 and then name these cup. And then after that, you can just do the same thing for the different elements. Now, what happens if we forgot to put an element in place like this smiley face here and we already created the group? The good thing is that this is easily uh, editable, so you can just ungroup these. And we're going to select this section here, holding shift 
and dragging these there. And now we will have these all in the same place. We can press Ctrl G again to group these and then we can name these cup. Okay, now another thing that I want to do and show you here is one thing that you want to take into account when working with SVGs is that since these are all aligned, if you want to animate something here of only the cup, for example, you will have to pay attention because you cannot just simply add a transform node here, which is how it should be in front of this group right here. But the problem is that it will also move everything that's here. So all these different shadows will move at the same time. So what you will have to do is actually create a new background node. We're going to make this invisible and we're going to replace that there. And this transform node, we're going to connect these to this one. So a new merge node is going to be created. And then we're able to connect this again here. So now you're able to organ to move or animate a certain element without all of the previous ones moving around too. Now, in this case, you also want to take into account that here, this drop shadow, it has these four different ones. And if you move this cup, in theory, you would want it to move too, right? So for that, you will actually have to find the path that is actually this big one. And you're going to have to copy these two elements here as their own and separate this one there. In this case, we can either add it as a new merge node separated from our cup here because it's not that uh, that of an important role. And if we move this, it will move too. But you can also open these and then do that same process that we did for the previous one. Now, if you would want me to create a video animating these, we could work on that too. But let me know down in the comments if you would like me to show you that. The animation process is basically similar to what you would animate anything else in DaVinci Fusion. I hope after you watch this video, you're able to know a few, a little bit more about editing in Fusion and how you can use SVG files and also the kind of illustrations to avoid when trying to edit in Fusion because it can become a mess real quick. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if it was. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a like. I hope to see you in the next video here in Swabby. Bye.